200 miles to the west of the Kalahari lies an even hotter, drier desert, the Namib. Very few plants indeed can survive in these parched sands. Patches of grass sprouted after a rare shower of rain and lived for a few weeks, but that was over four years ago, and now only the dusty, withered stems are left. There is one plant that grows here, though, and indeed nowhere else, and one that is very odd indeed. The scientist who first described this extraordinary plant was an Austrian called Dr. Velvich, who came to this part of Africa in the middle of the last century. He discovered many plants in Africa, but this perhaps is his most famous, and the one that bears his name being called Velvichia. There are male plants and female plants. This one is a female, and these are the female structures. These are young ones which sprouted this year, and these are the fully developed ones from last year. In structure, they're very like the cones of a fir tree. The male plant has growths rather like stamens, which produce pollen. So Velvichia seems to be a kind of link between coniferous trees and true flowering plants. But the oddest thing about it, perhaps, are its leaves. They grow from the top of its central trunk. And what's more, do so extremely slowly, so that this length of leaf would have taken about 70 years to be produced. But if it hadn't frayed at the edges, it would be about 400 yards long because this individual plant is thought to be about 1,500 years old. It's these amazing leaves that enable the plant to collect water in this rainless country. The Namib lies close to the western coast of Africa. At dawn, fogs regularly roll in from the Atlantic. As they swirl around the Velvichia, their moisture condenses on the plant's huge leaves. Some droplets are absorbed through cracks in the leaves' skin. The rest of the water is channeled down to the ground, where it's sucked up by roots just below the surface of the sand. 